Hey, a pleasant good evening. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the quick, the last video on our Phillies prospect Damon Jones making the Arizona Fall League All Star team as the 27 year old looks sharp in Arizona. Um, he has appeared in 93 games across four seasons in the Phillies minor league system. This is his first time in the Fall League after a down season in AAA where he had a five something ERA. Um, and then here he has a .96 through seven games and a 9.1 innings, has impressed over the first four weeks, and he's also allowed one earned run, struck out 12, and walked seven. So he's still having that bugaboo that's been harming him in terms of his overall numbers being as best as they can be in the minors, which is that walk-to-strikeout ratio. He has the stuff to strike out people like Ryan Sheriff and Jose Alvarado, who have done videos on, for example, as lefties. And you keep giving these guys obvious chances because you don't find as much potent lefties as you tend to find righties just from the factual baseline of there ain't as many of them around in the MLB and in the, throughout the minor leagues. And he seems to be a guy that before last season was tracking in the right direction because when you look at Damon Jones for his career in 18 when he was down in single A at a 3-4-1, then with three teams in 19, between Clearwater, Redding, and Lehigh, so just like Stott and Ohapi did this year, he did three levels, and he played really well, um, other than in his time when he was up in AAA, but he had a 1.54 and a .82. He did good in that season, then last year a 5.44. But of course, if you're a relief pitcher, you like to keep getting reps. The Phillies had that taxi squad-esque thing that people didn't really play a minor league season, so that has a huge effect on him. So he's really one less season than um, what his age total actually says he would be at. So Damon Jones seems to be a guy that, out of the other guys I did video on, so Hoppy and Stott, is more of the question of will he become a guy that you think will be in the MLB for the consistency because relief pitchers, as I said in the video for Sheriff, are so off and on year to year that it's about him finding that great year that he has the best control he had or good enough control in order to be stable in an MLB bullpen because that's what harmed him this year to not even be stable in a minor league bullpen. But it's all about gaining confidence and gaining confidence to get some of the best prospects in the fall league is a very good way to do it. And Damon Jones is doing that with his .96 ERA dominating them there. And he deserves just like Ohapi and Bryson Stott to be applauded for that. He just needs to bring the walk numbers down and control it a little bit better, and then he has a chance to actually be a lefty that could be a guy that could help stabilize the Phillies bullpen with Sheriff, as well as, of course, you have Jose Alvarado out there as well, since Ranger Suarez will likely be in the starting rotation going forward and should be. So this has been a reaction to Damon Jones making the Arizona Fall League All-Star Game, just like I did videos on Hoppy and Stott that I'll link at the end of this video. If you all want to check them out, this has been Sports Planet News. I'm Jeff Boyd. Subscribe at the Easy News widget up above. Or the subscribe button down below if you enjoy the content. Go Phillies. Keep making people proud and happy when it comes to the Fall League. You also have Muziati and others over there that are doing solid. And then also Hans Kraus, not the sexiest numbers overall-wise, but just outdoored former prospect Connor Seabold in a game in five innings. So... He's trending, if he keeps going from that game and building in the next half of the Fall League season, he's trending in the right direction. So again, peace out everybody, stay safe, and go Phillies.